Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's daily quest is to cast 30 green or blue spells. Not too bad, not too bad. Obviously we'll be using our Simic Merfolk. So, uh, not nothing has changed since the last time we used it. Honestly, I have no idea what I would add or take away. Um, well, actually, that's not entirely true. I'm not the biggest fan of Deep Fathom Echo. I mean, it's a 4-cost four 4-4 four that can become a copy of any other card, which is not bad, but there's really only one thing I'd make a copy of. Hexcaster. To give all my merfolk another, an additional plus one, plus one. Other than that, I'm not really sure what I would use it for. What, what else I would give it to. Same thing with Invasion of Segovia. I'm not, I don't particularly care for this card for this deck. I understand the, I understand what it's for, but you know, getting all your stuff untapped. But other than that, I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I might, after today, after this episode, I might look into replacing both of these cards with something else. I'll just have to figure out what it's, but that will be for later. So let us get into some matches. If anyone has a suggestion on what card to replace, what card or maybe what two cards to replace those two, uh, let me know. I'm just, you know, I'm open to suggestions. Not saying I'll use them or take them, but always curious to see what someone else has to say. All right, Pablo, Pablo. Um, hmm. Not a terrible start. Yeah, not a terrible start. We'll uh, obviously start off with twists and turn. Just so we can benefit from that. Okay, so most likely... I'm going to guess mono green is what they're playing with here. They really should have sent that out first, but whatever. No, no tribute for you. Yeah, that's going to be annoying to deal with for a little while. Yeah, that was a mistake. Let me ask Tiver. No? Yeah, Tiver stand. But I can counter that. Are you serious? I mean, we're playing it. We're gonna play it just because... Well, there, I mean, that helps. That's the one negative. But, um... Actually, I'm not going to attack. I'm going to hold off.
You don't have two mana to play. Unless, can you become? No. So they're completely out of cards. I mean, we are too. We're both top decking at this point. I kind of want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. No. No, we're going to keep what we have. I know it's probably not the best idea to not attack, but yeah, because they're going to do, yeah, they're going to um, block that, but yeah, they're going to, they have, they probably drew a tri Tiber Stand or something to make that invulnerable, but I have to, I have to do something, yeah, because they would take us out if, they, if I didn't. Really? Not see that coming. Oh, that's a fur that's a first. I don't know if we haven't used that card yet. Now I have a 6-6 six, six blocker, so, at least for now. wanted it out in the field so I can so we can get progress but whew, that that was close <laughs> that was really close but we will take that win we will take it and the sad thing is that just kind of proved to me that deep fathom deep fathom echoes it actually is not not that bad of a card to have yeah that just proved to me that it's not that it's not bad so, unfortunately, I think we'll be keeping it just because of that one match. It you know it showed me like no no this is a good card to use because it yeah it's a four four to me it's a four four blocker and on your turn when you're attacking if as long as you have that uh, hex caster it makes everything stronger. So so now I guess we will be keeping that. Though the. Uh, Invasion card, the battle card, probably still going to get rid of that one. We'll see. Again, I can see the utility of it, I just... I just don't know if we would be able to utilize it properly. Um, hmm. I'll hold on to this. I'll hold on to this. We have... There's enough, there's enough here. Oh, I mean, there we go. That That's helpful. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and do this, though. Because I'd rather be able to counter whatever they're about to do. Nice. Uh, right, that's a flash card, so we'll wait for that. I'm gonna wait. 
Mainly because I can use this to counter. Yeah, that's what it, it doesn't work quite the way I thought it did. It's for counter one target activated or triggered ability. Is how it works. quite how I thought it worked, but that's fine. It doesn't counter our souls mean it can't be... Yeah, a spell can't be countered if they use it. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, the Cavern of Souls really screws us. Yeah, that Cavern of Souls really screws us over. I'm just gonna let them finish it, because there's no, there's absolutely nothing I can do here. So no, they're just gonna... They're gonna have it. That Cavern of Souls, man, that's... Wow, that is really good. I'm kind of surprised they're. Yeah, just attack with everything. Jeez. Yeah, there was no way I could stop that, so there was no, no, absolutely no reason to block anything. Just, whew. So that was a really cool, uh, really cool uh, dino combination. I wonder, does mine have a... I think my deck, the deck I use, has Cavern or Souls. If it doesn't, it's getting it, because that was absurdly powerful. Yeah, anything used with the mana from this card can't be countered. Like, oh my god. Probably shouldn't, but we'll keep it. Rather than send in Jade Light Spelunker, you know, on turn one, we'll be sending it on a turn two again, so it can benefit from having additional mana. That is, if our our opponent zero uh, decides on their hand. Excellent. I don't see persistent specimen very often.
finally get to use Deep Root Pilgrimage. I'm happy with that. Because anytime a Merfolk is... Um, um, tapped, you create a... It's one? One or more. Okay. I guess that keeps it from being too overpowered. Like, if it had been just one, that would have created two. Two tokens, because, you know, it's only for non-tokens. thing they would cast would have been their cult conscript, but... Wait, so do I get to know what's in their hand? Because I don't know why I keep seeing those. But... Okay. I mean, they have nothing... I mean, yeah, it's waiting for them to do the collector's vault. Waiting for them to do. It gives everything convoke. Yeah, I'm not letting you do that. It's not like I could not like I could do anything to that anyway, but uh, yeah. sure. Not for
I'll let them have it. I'll let them have it. There's nothing in my deck that will save them. Nothing in my deck that's gonna save them from that. So, not too bad. You know, the funny thing is that that match also showed me that keeping the invasion card is probably worth it as well. I know, I know, I'm getting proven wrong today. All right, one more match, one more match, and then we wrap things up. I really am enjoying this deck. I really do like it. You know, win or lose. I like I like the theme, I like the way it works. I'm assuming this is a sacrifice deck, so... So not not really a sacrifice deck. I'm saying. Yeah, either way, you're gonna lose that creature if you block. Sacrifice my spellmaker. I don't like that they have a lot of cards in hand. That's not great. And since I don't have the mana to use any any of my four counters, which is my own fault, I wanted to beef up uh, my cards. And if I hadn't, they would have gone for the one that wouldn't have probably killed their card. So not that. That's not great. First strike. That's not great. I would love to send that out, but I'm not going to right now. Because, no. <laughs> We're not doing that right now. I plan on countering. Um, sacrifice as a creature.
See, I'm gonna lose a creature anyway, so... Yeah, I'm gonna lose a creature anyway, so it doesn't matter. No matter what I was gonna do there, I was gonna lose a creature. Interesting. Yeah, they knew I wasn't gonna block anyway, so. That's good. Gives me a blocker at least. That is a wait, I'm confused. That didn't, that didn't, I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? <sighs> wait, no. I'm confused. That this is a creature spell. Legendary creature, bat god. I had the mana. No, I was missing. I didn't have two blue, I had a green and a blue. Yep, I had a green and a blue, not not two blue. Oh, I have to discard it, okay. Not going. I'm not sure what they oopsed about. Maybe they wanted to send that character in. Because, yeah, that would have doubled. That would have doubled their damage if they had done that. Yeah, that would have ended the, that would have ended the match if they had sent that out first. If they're smart, they'll make it to where you can't block. Yeah, I don't know what they're oopsing about. Oh, because they should have done... <laughs> yeah, no, that's an oops. Like, they should have, yeah, they should have used that, gotten rid of that, but yeah, there. I'm gonna save them the time. They'll beat us next turn anyway, so we're gonna concede. Not, not the type of loss I would have liked to have go, gone out on. I don't know. Something about that kind of annoyed me. But, it's not that, though. A loss is a loss. You move past it. Either way, complete, we have completed our daily, leveled up. They're showing us our rewards for once. What is our mythic? Huatli. Nice, nice. We saw this used in the last episode. And a pack. So let's see what we get from the pack. And then we'll wrap this up. Okay. Nothing that really strikes me. Though we did, I did see we got a mythic wild, uh, wild card, so nice. What is our a pit of offerings? The card that was just used against us. Not bad. What is our rare? Deep root, deep root pilgrimage. 
again, that's a little annoying for me just because I I didn't have any copies of this when I made my um, mer, uh, Merfolk deck. So that counted as two, two wild cards I had to use to create it. And now I get a copy of it, so that's fine. Three copies of that card's not bad. Either way, we are going to wrap things up here. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you are new to the channel, hello, welcome, and consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.